let's look at uh, lipids. When we talk about lipids, these are fats and oils. Fats found in plant uh, in animals, while oils found in plants. When you go to a uh, supermarket, you will find out sunflower oil. It means that it, it is made up of a uh, uh, lipid from the plant, a plant called sunflower olive oil. Then it means that it's made up of is made from a plant called olive. Then then it from olive oil. So uh, when it is solid, then it is a fat. It means that it is obtained from animals. When it is um, uh, liquid, then it means that uh, it is obtained from plants. These things are supposed to be in at room temperature. And then they're saying that they're made up of elements. These lipids are also made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, like carbohydrates. But why are they different? They're different because they can have some other elements, such as uh, phosphorus. So it means that uh, they have uh, different or extra elements which are present, making them different. And arrangement is also different. The ratio of hydrogen to oxygen in lipids is greater than two to one. Then it means that uh, you you have more more of of hydrogens uh, compared to oxygen. It shows that also lipids produce energy if uh, they have almost the same as uh, carbohydrates. But now why is it that we don't use lipids? produce energy in the body, the basic way of producing energy, not lipids, but it's carbohydrates. We will see that later. Then uh, you're saying that they are made up of uh, one glycerol molecule joined to three fatty acid molecules. Uh, uh, during this process, water molecule is released. So it means that it is a D hydrating a uh, process so dehydration takes place during the formation of uh, uh, a lipid this is the formation this is the process uh, chemically it looks like this you have glycerol and then three fatty acids dehydration occurs and then you form glyceride triglyceride plus water so this is is is, is the fat we are talking about and then uh, symbolically, you can present it like this. We prefer this than this. So you have one glycerol plus three fatty acids under a process of dehydration. Then you form the glycerol plus three fatty acids. They form an E. They form an E, one glycerol and three fatty acids plus water molecule it means that the water molecule has been released so this process it is a dehydration uh, process so one glycerol three fatty acids you form uh, the fat or you form uh, what you call a lipid so this is the uh, uh, the structure of a lipid if they ask you to draw the structure of a lipid uh, you draw this in the simple way this is a diagrammatic representation of a, a lipid, just an E, one glycerol and three fatty acids. So we saw that now you, you, you have um, uh, fats uh, which are saturated and fats which are unsaturated. When we talk about saturated, it means that it has single bonds throughout. And then when we talk about unsaturated, it has a uh, uh, double bond or triple bond somewhere. So uh, we are saying that saturated fats are made up of uh, saturated uh, fatty acids, and then these ones are unsaturated fatty acids. So it means that they have single bonds throughout. They have uh, double bond or tri uh, triple bond uh, somewhere. And then here, uh, from uh, animals, saturated are uh, from animals. Then it means that they are solid at room temperature. They are, because we say that those ones from animals are solid. And then these ones are plants and they have single bonds throughout. They are solid at room temperature. You see the fats. Yes, if you look at the sheep, 
the first which you find there, we call them, yes, those are fats. And then the, these ones are liquid at room temperature. The oils from the plants are liquid at room temperature. As long as you don't, you have not heated it, then it means that uh, it will be uh, solid at room temperature, it will be liquid at room temperature. Examples is um, uh, uh, bay wax, you find out animal fats, you find all these. You have ever seen these uh examples uh in this day life you have olive oil here you have sunflower oil a lot of oils you know them from plants so those are examples of so you need to know at least some of the differences between secreted fats and unsecreted fats but the major difference this one is single bond throughout this one is a double bond somewhere and then this one is liquid at uh, solid at room temperature and while well, these ones these ones are liquid at room temperature so do lipids have a functions yes they do have functions so what are some of the functions of these lipids they provide structure uh, provide structure yes they are also they're important in making the cell membrane cell membrane so it's it is a structure um they have a, a structure function yes in 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 cells number two they absorb uh, nutrients vitamin a and d these are um uh, fat soluble vitamins they cannot be absorbed unless there is uh fats or there is uh, lipids so they are fat soluble uh, vitamins so they can only be absorbed if the fats are present then storage uh, store energy is also stores energy oils in plant seeds they store energy these seeds can be used the, the plant can use these oils afterwards during uh, germination so the energy is being stored in the form of oils then they provide insulation fats um fat layers under the skin provide heat insulation or um it prevents heat from being lost it means that the more meat you have on the body if you have fats then the more you can uh withstand the coldness it means that you lose little amount of heat but if you are small in size less meat on the bones then we say that you lose a lot of heat because you don't have enough fat to prevent the excessive loss of heat. And then you find out that these people who are a little bit thick, they, they, they eat less, while small bird uh, people, small bird people, they eat a lot just to compensate the lost heat. So watch out. Then they're saying protect organs from shock and movement. Layers around internal organs. If you look at the heart, you find out it has a lot of fats just to protect it. The kidney has a lot of fats just to protect it. Uh, if you have any problem, maybe as a, a sharp object pierces you into the body before it reaches the heart, it must go through these fats. Just basically for, 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 for protection. When you jump, the, the organs, they remain the same way. When you have an accident, the organs remain sometimes the same way. Until you destroy the fats which are around these organs, then you can reach the organs. And sometimes when you you, you, you stab, uh, because these fats, they can produce energy. So the, these organs, they will not collapse. Why? Because these organs, they will obtain the energy from these fats which are around them and then you will continue surviving even if these other body pets are small or they have shrinked the cells have shrinked they have died as long as the organs are still functioning normally then the person will have life then you're saying that they provide water when you break down we saw that the, the process of forming this fat you 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 you, you release water it's a dehydrating uh dehydrating um uh, uh reaction so it means that when you break them down, when you form them, you, 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 water must be involved. Either it's used up or it is what? It is erased. So when you break them down, then it means that uh, water is being uh, released. That's why you find out that camels, they have a 
a very big uh, hump which helps them uh, in the desert to survive in the desert for a long period of time even if there is no water then lastly uh, but on the list uh, they provide water proofing yes the, if you have enough feds then it means that um proofing will be um very easy for you uh, to, to, to happen for example water proofing uh, wax layers that is cuticle on the plants when the water falls on the plant or the leaf it, it falls off uh, in most cases because of the cuticle which is wax then how do you test for lipids lipids can be tested using um ether test that is um if it's positive a translucent oil mark on the paper will be seen and then if it's negative no oil mark uh, will be seen we will see this uh, in the picture and then i'll explain it and then here uh, if um if you use water test uh what sometimes we call it emulsion test uh when you immerse uh, it, it becomes immiscible uh it floats on the water it forms two layers and then here it becomes uh, uh miscible so this one is immiscible and then this one uh, if it's negative then it will become uh, miscible it will form one layer uh, this is what i'm trying to say uh, if you um, you pour the sample containing lipids, it will form two layers. Then it means that uh, this is a, a positive. It means that it, because oils cannot dissolve in water. And then if it's negative, it means that lipids are not there. Then it means that it will form one color, one color. So it will form this emulsion. That's why you call it an emulsion test. And then uh, if it is an ether paper, you find out that the oils uh it will form these marks and then where there is no oil you see the color is totally different but if it is it is it is present you will find out that the oils are being absorbed by this paper then lastly uh heart diseases secreted fats and cholesterol one of the cause of heart disease in, is the diet rich in uh the secreted fats and high in cholesterol Cholesterol, it makes the blood vessel to be blocked. It creates a high blood pressure. Mm. It creates a high blood pressure because of the lumen has been narrowed. Eh? The hole where the blood is, is, is passing has been narrowed. Therefore, uh, it causes a uh, heart attack. It means that less oxygen will go to the heart, less blood will go to the heart, and then uh, the, the, the heart will have the heart attack. Even the brain can also be um connected there can you name some of these causes fat acids are deposited on the inside of the arteries this is what i'm trying to say uh fat acids are deposited uh, on inside uh, of the arteries the narrow this narrows the diameter of the arteries this slows down the flow of blood if now the blood is not flowing in with the speed is supposed to flow if it happens to it happens to coronary artery yes coronary artery then the the person suffering means that uh, the person won't have enough um enough enough uh, oxygen in the organs um other causes of heart diseases are here it could be you obtain it from the parents age the you're too old gender the sex also can lead to that smoking please stop smoking lack of exercise please practice do the exercise run gym and then high blood pressure all these can cause um the heart disease and then uh and then lastly uh, coronary artery is a blood vessel that supplies uh the heart uh, muscles with food and oxygen then it means that if uh they are blocked then automatically the heart won't have enough food and oxygen hence you can't uh, survive so we see the proteins hormones nucleic acid also uh, in detail thank you very much don't forget to subscribe if you are a new student on this channel thank you very much god bless you